just going to sort out Jack's mane. Jack's got a really long mane. Um, and he absolutely hates it being pulled, so I'm not going to pull it. What I am going to do is kind of show you my technique. Um, show you my technique on how to pull a mane without pulling a mane. So first of all, you need to brush it all over one side. Levin's bedroom. Not very well. Um, what can I do here? Okay. Video skills on point. Not. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take off some of the length with my scissors. Can you see? Um, where Jack's had a full neck rug on all winter, we've lost this part of the mane. with pulling the horse's mane out of the roots. I think it's the 21st century. I think we're all a bit beyond that, you know. I don't think we need to... Uh... Well, he hates having his mane pulled, so I wouldn't pull his mane out of the roots. It's not nice. It's like pl plucking it. Imagine kind of like plucking... We well, you know, like plucking your eyebrows is a bit uncomfortable, isn't it? And there you go, done. I'm joking. So then what I'm going to do, now I've got rid of some of that length. Da -da -da. Oh, you're such a beautiful horse. I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to grab a bit like my coat. Now it's the same technique when you're pulling a mane. So you would brush a section down, touch the bottom, shut up dog! Then you would back comb. Now what you would normally do in this instance is you would pull the mane out of the roots. I'm not going to do that and when Jack knows I'm not going to do that he'll settle. And then you cut the excess instead of pulling it out of the root. It gives you the exact same effect of boy as a pulled mane without pulling it out of the roots. And it will thin your horse's mane at the same time. Nice right. to need a prick. Shut up. Next section. Pinch the bottom. Back comb it. So by back combing it, you're pushing, you're putting a bit of the hair out of between your thumb and your fingers. And when you get to the point you can't back home it anymore, you cut and all that's coming out. 
took away. Yeah, this way. And then each time you're doing it, you're pinching the longest strands of that mane. So here, you pinch the longest strand, you back home the rest, and you cut. So if I want to go shorter, I brush it down. Can you see what I'm doing? Not really. Brushing it down. Dyson! Fucking dog. Needs to choke. Prick. Brushing it down. Pinching the longest strands. Back combing until you can't back comb anymore. And what's left that you're holding on to with your finger and your thumb. You cut. You can razor it, but it really makes no odds. And again, holding on to the ends, the longest part, back combing. So you can't back comb anymore. And cut. Good boy. So here already, you can see what I've done in regards to this bit here. It's a lot thinner compared to this bit that's quite blocky because I've cut it. Yeah? So I'm going to speed that up a little bit. As my mum just said, anytime that she's home all day, oh, I'm going riding time and mum's having Lola. So now I'm getting the next part. I'm back combing. No, I'm not back combing. I'm brushing down my next section. I'm taking the longest part and I'm going to cut. And what you'll see is as your the bit that you've already done is taking it already to a shorter length. So you've kind of then got your guide for your next bit. get some before and after shots. Stop there. You there but I'm going to speed it up a bit so you kind of hopefully get the end result as I'm doing it. <laughs> Um, any long bits you would just back home and just snip them just to give it the tidy effect but overall I know like here Jack obviously lost the mane from um, the rug but yeah overall I, mean, I might just take that bit a little bit shorter there but now it's just sort of like look how handsome he is now four lock you basically do exactly the same with it sort of take the longer strides and um, Take the longer ends and then just make it shorter. So now you just go along the main, any long bits, back comb and cut the same way you've done it all the way through. It's thinner. We've taken out so much. You see on the, the floor, how much is on the floor there? But yeah, look how handsome my boy is compared to what he looked like before. All straggly and untidy. Um, take into account when you're doing this your horse's natural neckline if you know what I mean like so for example if I were to pull this flat this might be longer but I know Jack's got like the way his roots fall um, so you sort of want to look at how his mane is in effect I'm just going to make this bit here a bit thinner How much I hate my 
Jack's actual mane, as you it affect, um, it grows out of an area about an inch, right the way along the thing. That's how he's got such a big mane. Your thoroughbreds might only be the manes might only be growing out of like a centimetre right the way down the neckline. Take it as you're doing it and you're pulling down, take it just centimetre by centimetre. It takes a while, does hurt your arm, but it's kinder and I've got a happy horse. Uh, to me. If he's happy, I'm happy. I'm just going to do a small lock so I can do that. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, so here, we've got the four lock. Brush it all down so it's nice and clean. Shut up, dog! Okay. And then what you would do is you just take the longest part, pinch the end, hold it tight, back comb, and cut. As you bring that back down, the snail will be slightly shorter, and that's almost like your guideline to where you want the rest to go. If you want your mane shorter, you basically do the whole thing again. You start back home. That's why I cut quite a lot of length off the start. So, our back home, cut, grab the next bit, longest bit, back home, cut. Always brush it out, guys, after you back home. I tried it a minute ago, but doing a few sections of back home before I brushed it out it takes twice as long. So, just there's no real shortcuts to it. Back home, cut, brush out. You see here, now if you look at him, this bit's a bit shorter that I've done, this bit's longer that I haven't touched. Okay. Long bit, back comb. I suppose when you're back combing it, you're taking away part of the hair, so it's not giving you that snipped look. And it's sort of taking the hair sort of from the whole area, like that it's growing from, like in various places. Does that make even sense? Probably not. I'm not no professional. So you back comb, cut. longest bit and cut and you basically keep doing that until you get the length that you want so I'm going to start over here again grab the longest part back comb and cut that's now my guide for the rest back comb cut brush out get hold onto the longest part Back home, cut, brush out. So with the main, kind of with the forelock, I'm doing the same thing. I'm starting with one side and then coming across to the other. Hold on to the longest part, back home, cut and brush out. Back home, cut. So already that's shorter. I just want it a tiny bit shorter. Because Jack is going to have a fly mask on. I'm actually going to wash him off as well in a minute. I'm going to wash his mane. Give him a nice bath. So he's got that grease in his mane. I'm not one to brush my horses and then rug them so they're not allowed to get dirty. He'll have a wash. 
I'm going to bath him and I'm going to chuck him back out in the mud so he can have a roll and get dirty again. It's more, mostly like just so he can get all that nice grease out of his coat. All the grease that he's needed in winter to keep him warm because mine have lived out. Um, you can basically give him a good old wash and start again. Dyson, fuck off and choke. So annoying. Fucking hell, honestly. Every day. Fuck off! To be fair, I think Lowen's used to it now. Just sleeps through it. But it's bloody annoying. Asleep. So relaxed, he's falling asleep. Not stressing because he's having his mane pulled out at the roots. There's also nothing to say you can't do bit and bit, do you know what I mean? Like, sort of every time you go up, just do a little another section. If your arms ache, just take your time. Bond with your horse as you're doing it. You are so handsome. Oh, oh, oh. There you go, my prince. Prince Charming. Another thing, if you've got like a really, like a cobby type with a really thick mane, you get something like this, it's called a rake. Um, it's got, uh, can you see this? So on this side, it's got uh, teeth that are fairly, well, further apart than this side, they're quite close together. This will actually thin out your mane as well. Um, I mean, I've done quite a good job with jacks, but if you've got a really thick mane, you just go underneath it. Always do it the other side. So basically, if your mane's going to fall on the left side, you want to pull it over to the right, then rake it, and then flip it back over. But these are quite handy. Also good for tails, do like the, the top part of the horse's tail. I'm not going to do much with Jack's tail. Look at my beautiful horse. You've moved, Jack, so now it looks untidy. Oh no. Oh no. Once I wash him, it looks handsome. It will handsome, a full plait. So Jack's tail. Look at that ass. It's just. Always use the wider tooth. Um, the, the teeth that are further apart first because it can pull. Another thing, do not agree with pulling a horse's tail. I think it's sucking my barrack. So you wouldn't go over the top at all. You would just work boy on the side of the tail. Good boy. And they just like, you know, tightens it up a little bit on this area. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. 